Para assim concentrarmos, ok? Uh, continuamos a atualidade. Trump continua, continua em altas. Sai notícias todos os dias e todas as notícias terminam da mesma forma. A verdade é que uh, estas imagens estão cravadas na nossa memória e nunca vão sair. Vamos revivê-las agora. Vamos lá. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Bem, a, verdade, a verdade é que eu ainda tenho pesadelos uh, com esta frase, uh, mas adiante. Uh, há umas semanas, uh, tenho-vos a dizer em casa, e agora sim, o 5 para a meia-noite, uh, o 5 para a meia-noite lá da Holanda, fez um vídeo dirigido a Donald Trump, um vídeo no mínimo surpreendente, tão surpreendente uh, que se tornou absolutamente viral. Uh, vejam um bocadinho do vídeo só para perceberem do que estamos a falar. Vejam lá. Dear Mr. President, welcome to this introduction video about the Netherlands. It's going to be a great video. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We totally understand. It's going to be America first. But can we just say the Netherlands second? America first. E Netherlands second? <risos> Como assim? Não. Agora querem ficar em segundo e passar a perna ao resto da Europa? Então não estamos juntos nisto? O que eu tenho a dizer, senhoras e senhores, é que America first e Portugal second. É ou não é? Por isso mesmo. Agora vamos estrear a nossa participação neste, nesta corrente que já está a acontecer um pouco por toda a Europa. Já vos falo mais sobre isso. Fiquem com uh, a estreia do nosso vídeo, Sr. Trump, e got a message. E vocês também, ó oh, tulipas de um caneco. Ora vejam. Dear Mr. President, welcome to this introduction video about Portugal. We were born in 1143, meaning that we are one of the oldest nations in the world. It's amazing how old we are. We should be dating your wife. It's true, we should. Our founding father and first king fought his own mother, a total bitch, and kicked the Arabs off what was to become our land. Yeah, he totally kicked them off, the Arabs. We know what you're thinking. Our first king would be a great secretary of defense. He's dead now, sad. 60% of Americans think that Portugal is a province of Spain. They probably voted for you. Hey, you know at least one Portuguese dude. In fact, he used to work in the White House. We're talking about Bo, the Portuguese water dog. Look under your desk. Bo left a steamy present for you. You're welcome. 500 years ago, we used to divide the world with Spain. So yeah, we were huge. A gigantic superpower, okay? Today, we are European champions in football. That's right, the real football, not soccer. Your football is fake. The rest of the world loves a sport played with the feet. You toss a brown egg around with your hands and call it football. It's a fraud. I guess the helmets you use didn't prevent severe brain damage. Oh, and yeah, we don't use helmets because we're not pussies. Portuguese is the fifth most spoken language in the world. We even have a word, soda, that does not translate in any language. But we can assure you that soda is something that billions of people are feeling right now about Barack Obama. God bless America. We abolished slavery in 1751, more than 100 years before the United States. Deal with it and consider doing the same in your company. Well, your son's company. <laughs> We taught Brazil how to speak Portuguese. They taught us about Carnival. Unfortunately, we celebrate Carnival in the middle of the friggin' winter. So it ends up with a bunch of perverts watching half-naked ladies soaking in the rain. You would love it. Our national song is called Fado. Amalia was our biggest diva, okay? Singing heartbrokenly about pain, suffering, and abuse. We'll send some CDs over to Melania. She'll love it. But we are more similar than you might think. We also had a lunatic running for president. Tino Durans didn't win. But the guy who did, like you, also used to be a TV star. 
You have the Trump Tower, we have the Belime Tower. The best monument in the world. Seriously, the best. It's fantastic. Eiffel Tower was close, but we beat the French in the European final. Our current prime minister was also elected without the majority of popular vote. He built this thing called Gerengosa, forming a government which includes socialists, left-wing extremists, the communists, and the environment-oriented parties. If you have any problems with Putin, which you will, immediately call Antonio Costa. There's nothing he can't fix, okay? Don't worry, he's not an Indian. You kill them all, remember? But we do have your worst nightmare, a black woman as Secretary of Justice and a former prime minister, Jose Socrates, who was arrested, okay? You can take him to help build the wall, free of charge. Take him, he says he's an engineer. Finally, please consider this. There are around two million Portuguese living in the USA. We are buddies in NATO, and you even have a military base in one of our islands. We fully get that America comes first, but seriously, Screw the Dutch. They're more orange than you. <laughs> Portugal, second. Thank you for watching, and remember, we have the best weather in the world. It's true. And huge, beautiful, enormous beaches. You don't even need to bring your spray tan. Portugal's great. It's huge. It's tremendous. Pau, partida, é vos, é nós. Partirem já este vídeo. <risos> Queridos irem em casa, este vídeo faz parte do movimento Comedy Against Trumpism, para o qual nós tivemos a honra de ser convidados aqui no 5 para a meia-noite e aceitámos com todo o prazer. Bélgica, Espanha, Alemanha, Áustria, Suíça, Dinamarca, a Islândia, a Estónia, a Lituânia, até a Austrália, vão competir connosco pelo segundo lugar aqui na gavetinha do Trump. Podem ver as mensagens de todos estes países na web e ajudar que cheguem à caixa de correio do Mr. President. Para já, vejamos se ele tem a audácia de escolher o segundo e que sejamos nós. Não é, pessoal? America first, Portugal second. Vá, vai lá, não sei o que Partida. Muito bom.